personally, I'm speaking from a financial markets context um, when you refer to industry. Um, it's interesting because we saw an explosion of interest in blockchain over the last few years, and then obviously there's been a, a um, somewhat of a, of a, a pullback um, from a general publicity point of view, and that's caused perhaps a lot of uh, institutions that would otherwise be considering using some form of adoption to, um, to stop. But that being said, there are quite a few large institutions which are doing trials on blockchain, um, which are doing, for example, trade, trade finance projects or other very um, applicable uh, situations. Um, and they're still progressing, and they're just doing so under the radar. So and us, as an example, um, we are using blockchain as a metric to, to create efficiency gains in the entire security issuance and administration um, <coughs> excuse me, process. So what, what we're seeing, or what I think that we're seeing is, um, we're seeing adoption happening slowly, surely. There are a lot of projects in the pipeline, like ours, um, like some, some larger institutions. And we'll see some of those come to fruition in the next 12 to 24 months. And as we do, and as we see that come to market, that will, one, create a lot of credibility around blockchain create a lot of understanding about where the real applications are and some real tangible value. And I think that will start to propel the next wave of adoption, which then we'll see over, the, over a five-year period. The factors that may in influence the pace of adoption in the short and the long terms are, in the short term, it's really about commitment from some entities um, to, to see the efficiency gains that can be had and then, and then implement them. And so we, as a company are doing that from a securities issuance and administration point of view, but we're a relatively young company and we're still fairly small. Um, some of the larger institutions are doing that from, um, from, from their overall business model perspective and, and we've seen examples of HSBC um, adopting a blockchain methodology for trade finance and automating and streamlining some of that process. We've seen companies like Maersk um, set up a, a blockchain um, uh, platform for their shipping routes together with IBM. So as we see some of these companies that are doing trials start to actually implement them throughout their entire value chain, then that's where we're, we'll, we will really see um, adoption and we'll see the next wave of innovation. So I think a lot of these projects are going to come online in the next 12 to 24 months. And then as other entities and other companies that are perhaps a step back from that see these projects coming online and seeing the benefits that those, that those pioneers are, are gaining um, will then start to see a next wave of, of projects um, happening. I think what I want to see in the industry as the next steps forward is probably not as relevant as what I think um, is, is going to happen. And what I mean by that is um, there are projects which are transforming the way humans interact using blockchain um, by removing some of the entities that would otherwise work as, as trust um, centers and having more direct economic interaction between different parties. So the cat's out of the bag. So what that means is that at, over the next few years, as, as some of these big projects come online, I don't think there's any stopping what's going to happen. I think it's inevitable, the road that we're taking, and, and over time we'll see more and more adoption, just like People were a little bit skeptical of the internet at first, um, and then start to see almost all commerce is done, well, that's not quite correct, but a lot of commerce is done online these days. Um, and that's only increasing over time. It's not going the other way. So in the same way, blockchain has the capacity to radically transform the way that humans and enterprises interact with each other by removing middlemen, middlemen by removing um, administration layers, by making processes a lot more efficient, um, and by creating value by reducing costs. And so we are going to see those projects coming online, and then we're going to see a snowball effect where that just escalates. Um, and I think between five years and 10 years from now is when we will probably see the most fundamental shifts happening.